All right, my friends, it is math time, and we have been working very hard this week on learning about telling time to the hour and the half hour using my analog clocks and my digital clocks. So if I looked at my clock right now, I know that my analog clock has two hands. The blue hand on this clock is the hour hand. It is the short hand. The red hand on this clock is the minute hand, and it is the long hand or the big hand. So this hand points to the hours and this hand points to the minutes. We have been doing time to the hour and we are experts. I know that when it's to the hour, it, my minute hand is going to point at the 12 and my hour hand points at the hour. So this clock is showing me one o'clock. If I was going to write that on my digital clock down here, I would write one and two zeros because there's no minutes because I'm on the hour. Now if I change this and I bring my minute hand down to the six and this moves over a little bit because my time has gone halfway around, I am now at half past one. Or sometimes we call that 1.30. So to write that on my digital clock, I'm not going to write two zeros. I'm going to write 30 because I am 30 minutes past the hour. And we know that there are how many minutes in a whole hour? Think about our doubles. If half is 30, 3 plus 3 is 6. So 30 plus 30 is 60. There are 60 minutes or 60 of these little lines all the way around the clock. So today for math, your job, this is all what we've been talking about. So this is just putting it all together. They are going to give you a clock time. Let's say it's this one. I don't even know if this one's on your sheet or not. But you're going to see a clock just like this. There'll be an analog clock on top and a blank space on the bottom. So the first activity you have, because I had to put it in two sheets because there are two workbook pages today. So there's two different assignments in Seesaw. Make sure you do both assignments. You're going to write the time on the digital clock to match the analog clock. Now, they are all going to be to the half hour. So I'm going to write 30 because that's halfway around, 30 minutes. If this one was on my page, I'm going to look here. Hmm, it's between the nine and the 10. And remember that when I see the hour hand between the minutes, I go with the smaller number because it hasn't gotten to the big number yet. It's on its way. So this one tells me what time, friends? Is it 9.30 or 10.30? You're right, it is 9.30 is what time this clock says. The other assignment in Seesaw is going to give you an analog clock on one side and a digital clock on the other side. And you're gonna draw a line to match the times to each other to make the clocks say the same time. If you're having problems using your finger, just go extra slow and make sure you click on the pencil to draw with. If you click on the marker in Seesaw, it makes a really fat line and it makes it harder. Don't forget to do both assignments and click the green check mark to send both assignments to Ms. Schultz about your clocks. I will see you all after writing.